All right. Tier talk. Best sports nicknames of all time. And this is nonfiction. Yes. Nonfiction. 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 Cannot include movies. Cannot include books or fiction. Uh, who wants to start it off? Who wants to go first? Are we going back to the bus? We got a couple back there that want to throw their hat in the ring to make it on the graphic. You got, you got a list, right? I don't have a list. There we go. We got a few of you back there. Who wants to kick it off? Yeah, go ahead, uh, JP. I got mine. I got mine too. All right. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good little time. Hear about the old nicknames, relive some war stories. I know. It seems like all the uh, older people have the best nicknames, but maybe not. Uh, honorable mention will go to White Chocolate. I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he gave hope to every single white kid that ever played basketball. And he's gotten better, like, as time has gone on i don't know if you ever hear his interviews or anything he's just like ah uh, the white chocolate lives on forever and that's one of the best nicknames he defied all odds he did defy all odds and fun fact he was a football player of the year the same year that randy moss was basketball player of the year at the same high school okay tier three julius dr j irving I think that anytime you throw in the doctor label into a nickname and with how smooth he played, you know, the iconic rock the baby dunk. Mm -hmm. It's like you're a doctor out there. You're just clinical on the court. Saving people's lives. Saving people's lives and taking people's lives. <laughs> uh, number two, this is recency bias big time. And it's tough because of an upcoming fight, but I have the notorious at number two. And what's cool about it is fighting. It's tougher because those guys can easily lose. But he lived up to his name, Connor the Notorious McGregor. So I just think Notorious is a dope, is a dope name. Yeah. And tier one, a shout out to one of my favorite movies of all time. It's not a movie character, but Calvin Johnson Megatron. Because I just pictured all of the uh, the sounds when he's putting on his pads and his helmet, I picture him transforming in that moment and becoming Megatron. So those are my, uh, that's my tear talk. Great. Nice. Doctor. Solid. Dr. J, Notorious. Tough. You mean go? No, I think I'm going to jump in and go. <laughs> I think I'm going to jump in here and go before any, any gets, gets caught. My honorable mention <laughs> is going to also be white chocolate. I was bummed when you said that. I was like, fuck, I thought I might be the only one. That's what made me think immediately, like, I got to chime in here and get, it, get in this. I have a white chocolate jersey hanging in my closet that was gifted to me by uh, Bashad Breland from uh, when we were on Washington. Yes. Nothing like when, you, when, when a brother gives you a white chocolate jersey, it's like getting an invite to the cookout. Nothing better than being referred to as white chocolate in your craft. Um, my tier three, the hick from French Lick, Larry Bird. My tier two, love this one, love this one. Come bucket, Jonathan Kaminga. Jonathan Kaminga is a small forward for the Golden State Warriors. And this one doesn't have any backstory. The fans just gifted this guy this God tier nickname as soon as he was drafted. You have a nickname, Cum Bucket. Incredible. That is my tier two. Love that name. My tier one is, is straight paying homage. Walter Payton Sweetness. That is my tier one, Walter Payton. I wanted to be Walter Payton when I was when I was young. Um, but white. That's my 
<laughs> that is my uh, that's my favorite nickname. I love to watch him, Walter Payton. All of his highlights. My dad was obsessed with the the uh, 86, 86 Bears. Uh, so he'd always talk to me about Walter Payton, how he <laughs> run that hill until he threw up, just all the stuff, all the uh, Walter Payton stories. So my uh, tier one nickname of sports nickname of all time, sweetness, Walter Payton. That concludes my tier talk. Enthusiastic. Old school. Unifying. Gum. Horny. Throwbacks. Throwbacks. All right, I'll go. My honorable mention is going to go to someone who is extremely controversial, and that is Shoeless Joe Jackson getting his name when he had blisters on his feet, so he took his shoes off at, back when he, at bat when he went play for the White Sox. Now, this man should be in the Hall of Fame of the MLB. However, is not because he was paid $20,000 to throw a game in the World Series forever being banished to the MLB, but I think Shoeless Joe Jackson is a cool fucking name. So I mess with it. Also, uh, the eight other teammates that are now called the Black Sox. My tier three is going to go to Wayne Gretzky, the great one. I think you get a name like the great one. It just seems like I, I recently watched Pokemon with my daughter in the second movie. And Ash was like the one. And there was all this mythology of these three legendary Pokemon. He was the one. I was like, man, it'd be so sick to be like the chosen one. But Wayne Gretzky is the great one. My tier two is going to be a salute to Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. What a fucking badass nickname. Is there anything else to say, dude? That is... Mom, first off, snakes are the scariest thing in the world to me. They got no arms, but they move swiftly. Mm. And the Black Mamba, the, the, all the intensity of everything he did, the, the 2 a.m. workouts, all that stuff. Everybody loves Kobe Bryant. And my tier one goes to Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s dad, the Intimidator. I, Dude, if you are in a sport and your nickname is The Intimidator, there, I don't think there's a whole lot more badass than that. So a tip of the cap to Dale Earnhardt, RIP. That is my tier talk. Legends. Pioneers. Tough. Tough. Great. <laughs> Studs. All right. My tear talk for nicknames. My honorable mention is going to go to Johnny Football. That's a good one. That's a good one. My tier three is going to go to the King, Derrick Henry. Tier two is going to go to the Freak, Javon Curse. And tier one is going to go to Air McNair, Steve McNair. Homer. Tennessee. Titans. Um. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, sick. Is that it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I forgot. I forgot. You already went to it. Uh, my <laughs> my honorable mention. This uh, this is more of a new newer one. The legend was born, twenty eighteen, on the uh, the run to the Super Bowl. Big Dick Nick Foles. Just I think that that's just hilarious. Uh, number three, also an Eagles guy, Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy. I just think that's kind of a cool little nickname. Uh, and then my tier two, the please sheriff. Don't, please don't be from Philly. Like get off the tip. Go ahead. Number two, the sheriff. Peyton Manning did not, he's not from Philly. Did sure. not play in Philadelphia. So same size head. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is very true. And my tier one, uh, one of the smoothest swings in baseball of all time, the kid, Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. That is my tier talk. Cheese steak. Big. Top heavy. Dreams. <laughs> Can't. I'm going with Delco. <laughs> you guys started rolling. I had to get it in right before Jack. 
Dreams and Nightmares. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, the king, Derrick Henry, LeBron James. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the real king? Who is the real king? Yeah, I don't think it's much of a... <laughs> no. King James, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. Sure right there. <laughs> oh, man. Just, Close, though, yeah? Yeah. Hey. <laughs>